welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing another Dollar Tree-ish DIY or DIYs. You guys know I like using all sorts of supplies that I have on hand, that I get on Amazon, that I get at a thrift store, that I get at Walmart, you know, etc, etc. I don't like just sticking with Dollar Tree stuff. So I am actually in the process of redecorating my home. Um, I'm just, I kind of like did a sweep of home decor, got rid of what I could, um, repurposed what I could. And right now I'm trying to go for like the minimalistic look. I feel like I'm just so tired of the clutter of like the full wall of decor, full wall of decor, full table of decor. And I can't get away from that because I do make a lot of DIYs, but for the most part, Anytime I make something, I don't make it just to make it, I make it to actually decorate my home. So it's not stuff that I'm just like, you know, doing just for the heck of it. I actually did use my Cricut Maker for this one. Um, but before I get into that, you guys, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I would love it if you guys stuck around by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. But I was trying to show you guys how to make um, like a, the lettering or a, vi a vinyl cutout without the vinyl because I didn't realize I had the vinyl that I needed until after I messed up a few times. So I actually have these chalkboard stickers from Dollar Tree. They do come two in a pack. So when you open these, they have like a nice, you know, chalkboard look to them. There's a little bit of gloss, but not too much, which I actually really, really liked the look of this. But on the back, and it's just kind of regular paper. It's almost like sticker paper, so it, it is kind of thin. The problem that I had with this is that after it went in through the machine, I think it just like, just like stuck it on there really well like the first sticker came off fine and then the second one like it was a peeled mess like it was a disaster and I didn't show you guys that because I just wanted to like move along with the video but I did actually have to spray my mat down and then just like rub off all the extra paper this project took way longer than I it needed to be and only because I'm new to the Cricut. This is the very first time that I do like the vinyl cuts or like the sticker cuts. You guys can see that this one is a little bit more glossy. This is the one that I ended up using in the end. Um, I would have preferred like the more matte look, but that's okay. I didn't have enough to complete my project. And whether it was my sticker not peeling off correctly or me putting it wrong on the canvas, it just, it was a complete mess. So instead, if you do decide to use this one, which I think it'll be fine if you're just a little careful. I would probably use the light grip um, mat if you do end up going that route. And I know I made that super long, so without any more discussion, let's get on to the DIYs. On this first DIY, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this really cute wall scones, and I wanted to make it simple. I didn't want it to overwhelm my wall because again, I'm trying to like downsize and not make everything look too cluttered. So to make this, I am gonna be using these boxes from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna be using two for each scones. I mean, you can take the sticker off. You don't really have to because you're gonna glue them together anyways, but I just went ahead and peeled it off, and then I measured with my measuring square just right into the center. I'm gonna drill a hole now be really really careful when you drill the hole because I am not used to a powerful tool like this one I used to have a really crappy um, drill that barely worked so <laughs> just when you drill the hole just be careful because it will spin really really fast on you now once I drill that hole I just kind of stack it and then drill the hole from the inside and hot glue it together because I do want it to last a little bit longer I don't want it to come apart because usually with like hot glue you can peel stuff apart. I am going to be using my Power Shot stapler with my short staples and just stapling those together. And then once I staple them, I am going to be taking my stain in special walnut and just, you know, staining it up.
So to cover that part where I glued it and stapled it together, I am going to be taking my reed and it's like basket weaving reed. I always have it linked in the description. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue the piece down and then I'm cutting it as I go. Um, you can always just measure it and cut, but this was just easier. And once it's all down on all four sides, I am going to be sanding down the edges a little bit just to round them out. To hang these on the wall, I am using some sawtooth hangers and I, I always try to glue them down first just to make sure that they stay on there and they do come with little nails that you can nail in there. Just be really careful when you nail them down so you don't break your boxes. But yeah, just stick them right into the dried hot glue and just nail it down and you're all set. And these florals are actually from Dollar Tree also. They are so pretty and they are new to my Dollar Tree this year so hopefully if you guys like these you guys can find them. And right here you guys are getting a little preview of the sign that I'm going to be working on next. So I took inspiration from this quote that I saw on Pinterest, but for my actual sign I am repurposing one that I got from Tuesday morning and I used to have it in the kitchen but after I redid it there was just no space for it and the kitchen sign is actually broken like at the age so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it it is held on with little screws on the back so I'm just gonna take those out and then I'll probably use the kitchen sign for something different but I know there's like when you go into my kitchen there's like a like a section of wall that you can put it on there. So I think I might do that. Anyway, I just hot glued it just so it wouldn't break on me while it sits. So let me go ahead and hot glue this. And then when I'm done, <laughs> um, you guys see that little piece of board um, at the bottom there. That's actually left over from my pantry redo. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna take my Walmart paint. It's just regular home paint. And I'm gonna take my brush and just I'm not going to cover it completely. I'm just going to do like light brush strokes so that it looks distressed and it matches the frame on the original sign. And this is why you guys will always see me in a old ratty t-shirt or hoodie because I always get paint on myself. And so if you ever see me not dressed nicely for my videos, that's why. So I did use my Cricut to make the lettering on this and I didn't do a full on tutorial because I did it on the last video um, and I just used different font and I'm just kind of showing you guys how I put the vinyl on there but you guys if you don't have a Cricut you guys know that I have showed you many many times how you can do your DIY home uh, decor signs using your pens and markers and then also letter stickers from Dollar Tree. So if you don't have a Cricut machine I know they are you know kind of spendy and not everybody can um, afford them and luckily you know I was sponsored by Cricut so they sent that to me um, but if you don't have this option you guys hand lettering works just fine just practice 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 or use stickers it might take you a little bit longer but you know you always have to find an alternative you don't always have to go with what everybody else is doing 
Also, I am very, very new to using the Cricut machine and it's trial and error. I'm still learning. This is only like the third time that I've used it. <laughs> so you guys don't see all the mistakes I made and how time consuming it can be, but it is. And so I'm just trying to get better at it so I can share more um, Cricut uh, projects with you. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for spring. I am a spring girl all year round, so you will always see greenery in my house. And this is just another one of the planters that I've made using these Dollar Tree bowls. I don't remember where I got them. They almost look like dog bowls. That's probably where I got them in like the pet section. So you're just going to take two of them. And listen, I went out there and I spray painted these suckers. And with my luck, it literally started pouring raining and I didn't hear it because I had my headphones in <laughs> until I checked and they got super wet. And I always have this luck when I'm painting something always goes wrong whether it's me putting my smudges on there anywho I just went ahead and dried them up and you know I guess I used the spray paint as a primer to then go into it with my Walmart paint and I actually like the regular paint a lot better just because it has more texture it's a little bit thicker it makes things look I don't know a little more high-end I've already said that before so I'm just going to go ahead and do a coat of paint and I'm doing brush strokes and stuff but at some point I did kind of just tap it on there and you want to make sure that you you'll see that bowl over there on the right. Um, I actually did paint that all the way inside also. So I got these new beads from uh, Amazon. These are actually a little bit smaller than the ones that I've used previously. I think these are like 20 millimeters. The ones that I used before are like 25 millimeters. So these are just a little bit smaller, but still a good size. So I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue these all the way around the bowl. And then once I'm done, I'll put some hot glue on top of that and then glue the bowl on top also. And then using some twine, I am going to cover that little edge right there. It's like a little lip on the bowl just to make it look a little bit more put together. So I'm going to do that on the top and bottom bowl. And honestly, so you guys I didn't even show you when I put my greenery in there so I just glued a piece of floral foam and I just went at it with a bunch of greenery from Dollar Tree and Walmart and stuff that I had on there so you guys can you know add whatever kind of greenery or floors that you want or you could even use it to put like candles and stuff so you know possibilities are endless but this is more of a spring DIY for me. Now you guys, I love browsing Pinterest and I'm always looking for ideas. So I took two different things that I saw and I was inspired by it. So I took the wording on the other one and then on the left here you see the sign that's put together with the wood. So I made my own and I did use Dollar Tree and Amazon supplies for this and also my Cricut. To make this set, I am using these Dollar Tree canvases, just the flat ones, not the ones with the frames, and then also my Amazon paint stir sticks. These will be linked down below. I've still had them since like April or May or something like that. Now, using my little drill here, um, the only thing is that I was not able to put this in there with the clamp, so I just had to cut one side and then flip it and cut the other. So. Just be really careful when you do something like this because it's not clamped in there so you don't want this to go like flying everywhere. Again, be really, really careful um, <laughs> when you do this. So now I'm just going to beat the heck out of these paint sticks with a, with a pliers, with a hammer. Just go at it, like bust it up, scratch it up. It's going to make it look a lot more 
um, realistic than just making them look like paint sticks. And you guys can see that there's a little divots or whatever those are called, those little dips in one side of the um, on one side of the paint stick. And um, after I stained them, I did actually go in there with the tool and I just scraped it off on the other side just to make it look a little more even. So I mean, you can still see that they're paint sticks, but it's not super super obvious. If you want to spend a little more, you guys can always get regular wood from like Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. But I think these work just fine. And so you guys can see the difference between beating up the wood and not, you know, it looks a lot more smooth and fine on the other one. So I would highly recommend doing the other route just so it looks a little bit more rustic. Okay, so now after attempting to do this with the chalkboard stickers from Dollar Tree, the first one came out perfectly, but then I placed it on the wrong side of the canvas. So I did it way too low than what I wanted it to be. So then I had to redo it. And then the next two stickers got really stuck on my mat and I just didn't want to deal with it. But then I realized I did have my um, vinyl <laughs> for, you know, like the actual regular vinyl that you can use. So I ended up using that. But I mean, I feel like if I would have had a little more time and patience, I would have succeeded in doing it with a chalkboard um, sticker from Dollar Tree. So um, in the end, I did end up using the vinyl for the final ones that you will see. All right, so I did mark about half an inch on the canvas there using my square, and then I will be using that also just to align it. Um, and then I'm gonna put some hot glue on there and glue the paint sticks down. And you don't have to do that, but I wouldn't skip this step just to make sure that it's on there nice and firm, and so that when you staple it, it doesn't move around on you. And to staple it down, I am using my power shot, and this is a stapler slash brad nailer. And I have like different sizes on staples, so I'm just using very short staples on this side, and then just stapling it down. So you guys want to make sure that you staple the the sticks that face forward first, like the ones that are going to be out, you know, like the ones with the <laughs> with the words. Oh my gosh, I can't think. So just gonna put some twine or rope or you guys can use whatever it is you want to hang them and it's going to go in between and then once I put the other sticks onto the back I am going to be switching out my staples for my brad nails. They did end up being just a tiny, tiny bit long, so I did cut off like that very tip with my wire cutters and then added a little dot of hot glue just so that when it goes against the wall, it doesn't scrape it if it moves around. Oh,
recall when we were young, running from all things at once, without thinking twice. And I knew it would catch up, and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to lead my This road that I am on, I gotta stay here for some time. so that is going to be it for today's video thank you guys so much for tuning in once again let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and if you do have any other questions or comments or concerns let me know in the bottom I've gotten a lot of questions still about the music that I use I do get it through epidemic sound sometimes I have like so much stuff going on that I forget to link it I'll try to link everything in the description down below and then um, yeah but if you have any questions, let me know. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Bye. Time is gone and I grew up.